Welcome to AODC, and congratulations to all of you for making it onto the show. I hosted auditions. They were jam-packed, full of dancers, ready to join my show. Did you not see her at Mini Challenge? She was paused. Yes. Once you learn to finish sentences, then we can talk. I hate the fact that I'm paired up with her now. But hopefully I don't be the first one out. Welcome to Elimination. Sadly, two of you will be going home. The owner of Glimmer Competition and... This is very impressive. They really did good. Professional road dance expert, Nikki. But whether that was intentional or not, I don't know. But maybe try to think more than twice. Dancing with the Stars Season 1 producer, Winter. Everyone did really good in this dance. And everyone synced with each other at times. And of course, me, Abby Lee. So who's going to win this season? Find out only on Mendel TV. Young oh, sweetie, how do you feel about making AODC? I hosted auditions and they were jam packed. I'm looking for my next star who could do all genres of dance. These moms and dancers are going to have to work very hard in order to win the grand prize of 15,000 Robux. Are the cameras on? Oh, hi, I'm Cameron, I'm 13, and this is my mom. Hello, my name is Megan, and I'm 33 years old. Me and Cam have been working so hard to come here. We've been to so many competitions, it's uncountable. My dad isn't here with us anymore to do it with us, but we are on a journey. I'm going to win this show. It's what made us stronger. Oh, mom, this place is like big. I'm so excited that I made this show. I know, it's insane. Back in Atlanta, the weather was so much different. So, how do you feel about all this hard work? I feel great. I'm so excited me and my bestie Maxine made it. Yeah, it was never this cool back then. I just have to get close with Abby and keep all of the girls under my little finger. We have to shower her with that praise too. Duh, mom. Okay, help me stretch. Hello everyone, my name is Jada. This is my daughter Maxine and she is 13 years old. My daughter is the best dancer here. I mean, she has the whole package. The legs, the flexibility, and the turns. Oh, she's for sure winning this. All these moms are jealous because of my daughter, because we have everything custom made. We got money and we are not scared to use it. Like Ariana Grande said, whoever said money can't solve your problems must have had enough money to solve them. My mom likes to tell me I'm the prettiest girl here, and by the looks of it, I am. I'm very humble about it though. I don't want people to think I'm cocky. I'm trained in every style of dance, and that scares people. So, sweetie, how do you feel about making AODC? I feel great. That's good, because we know you're going to walk the floor with them. And is. There's some girls from the old studio, but we know you're better than them, don't aren't you? Yeah, but none of them are a competition to me. I'd say my only competition is my best friend, Cam. And she's not even a competition. I guess you could say I've been training my whole life for this, and I'm ready to take it. I know that's right. Hello, my name is Tiana, and this is my handsome son, Alfie, and you know we are here to win. Oh, baby, I'm so excited. We in LA. Mama, I want to see how many Kashinas are in LA. Never nervous. Don't show those people you are. Let me get a tissue. I couldn't have kids. Give me a second. But Mama, a lot of things could happen. I won't, Mama. I know they're going to talk because I adopted you. Me being adopted don't mean nothing. It just means I'm a better person and someone who's wanted as well.
I hosted auditions. They were jam-packed, full of dancers, ready to join my show. I was only allowed to pick 12 dancers. Welcome to AUDC, and congratulations to all of you for making it onto the show. Tryouts were tough, but you were strong enough and talented enough to make it. You all should consider yourself extremely lucky, because only 11 people made it to the show. And these are the 12. Love the excitement and energy, but now Abby will take it from here. Hello everyone, and congrats for getting into the show. So each week, you will be given a skill. And the skill this week is technique. So we are going to do a mini challenge. And the winner of that challenge will decide everyone's trios this week. I felt like technique was the best way to start off the show. Obviously, I want dancers that have good technique. So moms, please stand off to the left side. And technique is very, very, very important. Okay, everyone, spread out. I'm going to play the music that you'll be improv to. We got one of our choreographers to create a short dance. They have to add on the first moves and do the last 10 that were assigned. We want to see who actually follows directions, check for updates, and more. I'm watching everyone do this challenge and I'm very nervous for Nancy. Everyone seems so good. All right, are you ready to be judged? Okay, the music is on. I've seen a lot of issues. Maybe only four people follow the directions. So the winner of this week's mini challenge is Nancy. Come forward. I knew Nancy was gonna win this week's mini challenge. She went out there and showed everyone what an amazing dancer looks like. I am so proud of her. Nancy will be deciding everyone's trios. So the styles are hip hop, jazz, contempt, and ballet. Nancy, what style do you want? Hip hop. Okay, now pick two people. I choose Silver and Kate. Now Nancy, who's being in the jazz trio? Maxine, Cam, and Eleanor. All of you stand together. Now who's doing the ballet? Eliza, Alfie, and Jesse. That means everyone else will be doing contempt. So make sure you practice as two people will be winning prizes and two people will be going home. Now go to your mothers. I feel like the dancers did not know what they were getting into. I've seen a lot of mistakes during the mini challenge itself. Once they got off that stage, all I seen was panic. Hopefully they pull it together before the competition. Girl, I did, but I got set up to do ballet. Just outshine them. Hi, my name is Nye, and this is my daughter, Lei. Hi, my name's Lei, and I'm 13 years old, and I'm really happy to be here. And when she was six years old, she already mastered the triple pirouette. I really don't think I have competition in this competition, but there's definitely dancers I should watch out for. But hopefully, I don't be the first one out. So, Lei, how do you feel about the other girls? The other girls are nice, but I feel like some of them are at the technique level that they said they were. Like who? For example, at the main challenge, Cindy. She wasn't doing the best, and I feel like she's going to be a bad example in the trio. If she makes you lose the elimination this week, me and her mother are going to have problems. Nancy got to choose 
everyone's trios this week. Now they will have to work together and come up with the routine and perform it this weekend. This will also help them learn teamwork and how to work together. Okay guys, let's try it from the top. And five, six, seven, eight. Jazz. I really hope we can win because jazz is one of my strongest styles. Plus, we have the best song too. Ellie, you're behind on the turns. Also, I'm the only one that should be flexing their feet since I have a jazz turn. What's going on with her? Why is she always late? Gosh, I don't know. Ugh. So, we're rehearsing our trio and... Maxine and Cam are kind of ganging up on me and getting inside my head. I'm really trying my hardest, but I feel like I just can't do it right. I'm really scared for comp, and I don't want to let my mom down. I, I didn't mean to. Why would you hit her? You were in my spot, and you pushed me. What's going on with you today? Have you had your coffee? Get it together. Gosh, this just made me so mad. Maxine, let's go get water and get ready for tonight. I guess I'll just practice by myself now. What do you think about the new girl? She seems iffy. Um, I don't really know. I feel like this would look better as a duo. It's her lead. She's always late and she keeps going to the wrong spot. Then her mom looks crazy. Right, I feel like she's holding his back. That's exactly how I feel. I don't want to be mean, but she needs to step it up. So this week, I got paired up with Sydney and Zeke, and for our costumes, we are going to do red. And we don't have a theme we're going for, really, we're just going to do red costumes. Zeke, did you see Sydney at the mini challenge? No, but I heard about it. My friend Cam said she was horrible. Well, she did so bad, like she wasn't even doing the right dance. I hate the fact that I'm paired up with her now. Excuse me, why were you talking bad about me? I have good hearing, you know. Oh, uh... No. Don't lie to me! You were talking about a different Sydney. Sydney, just stop trying to put yourself in things. The Sydney at my school. You said you didn't want to be paired with me. I'm not dumb. You know what? I'm walking out. Goodbye. So we're at the mini challenge and Sydney is flopping really badly. Like, she's doing a whole different dance and it's really embarrassing for her because she looks like not the brightest crew in the box. Your daughter just walked out on us. What did I hear? Oh, 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 hi, Sydney, mom. My daughter is trying because of you. It's not our fault you dance with Kate and do a 15 second dance. She looked like her foot got dislocated. Why Sydney was getting dragged by the other moms? I don't know. I do know she will do what she does best, which is dancing. And another reason she has this in her pocket is because she is dancing a contemporary dance, which is her strong suit. The dance this week is like really hard and I don't know if I'm going to be able to look good next to Silver and Kate. So my plan for this week is to work really hard on the dance and hopefully I'll do good and stay for another week. Kate, make sure you don't mess up on that contortion too because like I've told you over and over again and you're not fixing it like honestly. Like what are you doing? Like is, is do you need me to change it or something? No. I just I'll got like an... I had a huge lag spike. Okay, I guess. Also, Nursey, make sure on um the jazz one that you're waiting for me, because I also told you guys, and you're not fixing it. Like, is everything okay? I don't know why you're worrying about other people. The only thing you should be worrying about is that... I'm just um, trying to make sure that we do good as a team, okay? I don't know why you're trying to give me attitude, okay? okay. Anyways, what should we add after toe one? 
Uh, Loki think you should add hip hop one. Um, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's kind of ugly, but I guess. Honestly, Kay was very hard to work with. She wasn't very focused, and her technique was horrible. She was either late or always early, and I honestly don't like her attitude. Kay, what was I gonna say? Um, your formations look bad. Like I don't know. My formation? You're always late. Hello. I see you did good, by the way. I mean, yeah, I think you did good. I All the formations are messed up. I agree. I think it's because Kate. I no, I think it's because of you because you're always late on my screen. I think you need oh. to work on putting your feet because um, they're like sickles, like hello. But anyways. I think she's just being a brat right now. She should be focusing on herself instead of constantly talking about me and being late on every move. She should just worry about herself. I don't know, Silver, you're kind of early on my screen. Like, I feel like you should just, like, fix it. Um, for me, you were late, so I think it's just your timing. Because uh, me and Nursey, we were doing fine. She was on, we were in timing, and our formations were good. But you were just off. Like, you're way too bright on one of the parts over here. And you need to make sure that you're more near the wings, okay? Honestly, I'm sick of you, Silver. Like, you're over here targeting me. Like, I don't know what I did to you. Like, I feel, like, so, like... I didn't even do anything to you. You're the one that was giving me side eyes when you figured out that you're working with me. Like, I honestly don't understand. Like, if you have a problem, you can just tell me. Like, honestly. Honestly, I, I do have a problem because, like, you're over here, like, trying to start stuff with me. Like, I'm pretty sure that me and Nurse both agree that you're very annoying. Like, honestly. You I don't know what? what? I'm done. I'm done. If I'm being completely honest, I'm glad I wasn't a part of this argument because if I get on anybody's bad side, it's over for me. However, I do think that they could have been a little bit nicer to each other because we are supposed to be a trio, so we have to work together. Um, Nursey, I'll see you um, tomorrow. We can go over and practice it. Hopefully, Kate will show up and not be all on us because I don't know. And I think her mom is in charge of making our costumes. I don't really know, but hopefully they look good. <laughs> she doesn't make us look bad because... Bye. Bye. This week, we were given ballet. I don't really like the style, but I have to work with what I got. Okay, I think we should work on our timing. It's so obvious Ali's just gonna be the main character of the dance. I mean, look at the dance now. She's just better than everyone, and everyone else is like her background dancers who need to be paid more to even dance that good. You know that Eliza is the best. Excuse me, do we have a problem? You heard me. Your daughter is terrible. Ali is clearly the best here. Why are you being like that? You're a bad example. Move, Big Bertha. Okay, Stick. Hold my phone. Move, Biggie. Hold a salad. Baby, I'll be big, but your child isn't good like mine. Okay, but I'm just saying our children should shine more. The dance doesn't show what they all can do. We're going somewhere else now if you guys won't start not dealing with my mom. Leave her alone. She's just telling the truth. Your mom is the problem, and I hope you don't grow up like her. Stop! Not everything is about being better than everyone. It's about working as a team. If y'all are gonna say who's better, then y'all are blind because not everyone is perfect. Let us practice and make the base while y'all watch and try to look pretty. The moms are constantly arguing over who's better. They need to put their drama aside and be more supportive since this is a team. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my dinner. I'm so excited all y'all could So I decided to host a dinner party because I would just like to get to know the moms a little bit more and I would like to address something with Ian. I just wanted to talk and get to know y'all. But before we start, 
I've heard something. Oh, yes. What have you heard? I've heard you've been trying to get coaches to teach Alfie how to be a better dancer. Is this true? Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to be talking about this. So, Allie, your child and the other been doing practices behind my child's back, and I think that's weird. Once you learn to finish sentences, then we can talk. What's your issue? My issue is you taking up Your issue is a mess because you're mad. For the first challenge, I want to see her get up and do the challenge. But of course, my Alfie is going to win. Girl, your child not even close to my child. What are you even talking about? Ain't your child need private lessons, though. Can we just start the dinner already instead of always arguing? That turkey look dry. We good. Girl, your child isn't even good. She's a crybaby. But you're asking coaches from my dance studio to give Alfie private lessons? Because he's getting left out. They're children. Your child took 30 minutes just to learn five dance moves. And he looks like a pogo stick. What we not gonna do is talk about my baby. If you got a problem, address it with me. Yeah, address it. You're the problem. She addressed it. You were just texting me last night talking about how you were scared your child wasn't gonna make it. Your lips are the problem, chap lips. You can't raise your child properly or teach him how to dance. Someone doesn't have faith in their kid. Don't people call CPS on you? Your child got took out of your house seven times. Dang, they did that to me too, girl. It's okay though. Tiana has absolutely no right to address me like that. I mean, she literally doesn't even care for her own child. No, I'm gonna get in your face because you wanna sit there and talk about me and my child, but yours is a hot mess. Girl, your child is pointless and worthless. And your child cannot point. We haven't even sat down for 10 minutes and the moms are already bickering. They're arguing like they're in high school. I mean, seriously, we came here for dinner, not a screaming match. So, who y'all think going home? I think your child going home if she needs private lessons. That's just me, though. Sydney and Alfie are a hot mess. They're most definitely leaving. What did you just say? Did you not see her at mini challenge? She was pausing. Yes, I did. You know you pay Abby a good amount at that, cause... But the thing is, she was sick that morning, so what do you expect? The three moms that are the moms of the ballet trio are clearly demented because contempt, which is the group Sydney is in, is clearly easier than ballet. The other moms need to know who they are talking to because I'm great. <laughs> Anyways, bye. I just want to know who said that. I heard it from over here. Come on, who said that about my daughter? Because your child can't even Ariel. She fell down. I think it was the slick one, Azalea. Come on, say it again. I want to hear it. Your daughter sucks you ever say that about my child okay that's enough you know what get out now so it is finally competition day a lot of people are scared because two people will be going home. This week is all about technique, and the two bottom dancers that shows the worst technique are gone. So hopefully, things go as planned. Welcome to ABC. This week's skill was technique. We have four trios to show you tonight. Two people will be eliminated this week. Please welcome Maxine, Elle, and Cam with their jazz trio, Beautiful Boy.
I don't know if Elle was supposed to tumble or not, but there's a move where everyone's just tumbling except for her. And it just looks weird. She was also barely synced with everyone else. And I don't know if Cam and Maxine practiced without her, but they were more synced together. But speaking of Cam, the emotes were okay, but not when they go on for so long. I think Cam could have did some other moves instead of those long emotes, but the only thing that saved her was the start of the dance where she was doing it all by herself. Ma, did I do good? You did amazing. Thank you. They made me the lead. Yes, we did so good. You danced circles around Ellie. You and Cam did amazing though. Please welcome Lay, Zeke, and Sydney with their contemporary trio, Don't Kill This Love. Everyone did really good in this dance. I think making Lei Lee did some good things, and everyone synced with each other at times. I liked how Zeke and Sydney pulled it through after the mini challenge. It did great. Good job. Mom, you were right. Of course I outshined them. See? I told you. That was easy, Prey. They were never on my level. Never. But I'm thinking the next people on my list have to be between Maxine and Silver. But don't tell them. <laughs> they say we will be surprised. Right. Anyways, let's pack our bags. I'm hungry. Please welcome Nancy, Silver, and Kate with their hip hop trio, Rollers Out.
is very impressive. They really did good with the theme they had to go with and the tumbles looked great. There was a bit too many individual parts and Silva was having a bit too many solos. When if they would have worked together, they could have definitely got a perfect score. The thing was really good. Just a few times, one person would be off. Please welcome Ali, Eliza, and Alfie with their ballet trio, Up the Tree. Well, I love how they rippled constantly, but um, whether that was intentional or not, I don't know, but maybe try to think more than twice. Costume change was executed at a point where it wasn't that necessary or adding anything, and your spacing was pretty consistently off for most of the performance. Some of the more dramatic moves should have been safe for the more dramatic parts in the song to more so accentuate it instead of drawing out parts that bore the viewer. You guys also cut your moves like a lot to try and finish faster, but it was also off the timing, so it looked really weird. I think execution was where this dance overall faltered, and I hope to see better from these three. Thank you. Welcome to Elimination. Sadly, two of you will be going home. However, two of you will be winning a prize. So the prize this week is a profile effect, and they are worth 500. Two people will be winning. So if your name is called, step forward. Cam, Lay, Nancy, Zeke. You're all safe. You may leave the stage. Okay, now these were our lower scores. Maxine and Elf, step forward. Okay, so Cam basically outshined in your trio. What happened? I just felt that at practice they were getting in my head and stressing me out, and it reflected on stage. Actually, them kids were bad. Zim was disrespecting all the moms and acting a fool at dinner. So because of that, my child suffered because she was running her mouth. Run the ones, not the mouth. Ellie. Do you think you deserve to be here? Your mom just said you can't handle pressure. Yes, I do, and I want a second chance to prove myself. When did I say that? Okay then, both of you may exit. I think it was extremely shady and rude of Linsel to bring up how I'm the reason his daughter messed up the dance. Because in all honesty, it was really her pigeon toe. Now, Kate and Silver. So the judges, we watched your performance and both of you two scored the highest. Congratulations, you are the winner of this challenge. Both of you may exit. I knew Silver and I would win this week because we're probably the best dancers here. Not trying to be rude, but it's true. Okay, Sydney, why were you dancing when the music ended? Because I just realized Acro 2 didn't fit the music. What do you mean? You had all week to practice. So why are you now realizing? 
I'm just realizing now because the music fitted in our rehearsal. Okay. And for Allie and Elfie, that trio was the lowest scoring. It was really bad. What happened? Oh, I had not even show up. And he had not even hear on elimination. I agree. Eliza didn't even show up. We had to find a last minute replacement and teach her in it. And for us, her understudy was not dancing for the first 10 seconds, which put me and Ali off. And we didn't know what she was doing. We were in sync. We still seen a lot of problems with you both. So what about yourself? Your timing was bad. They practiced without my child, which is unacceptable. We had Alfie on the team up. We had to practice without him. I kept up. We were in sync in the dance. They decided to practice without him too, to outshine him. Is Eliza the problem? You just said they couldn't practice without Eliza, but your mom is saying you practice without Alfie. So which one is it? Eliza and I practice without Alfie. We practice without Alfie, cutting him out. Eliza just wouldn't show up. But Eliza didn't show up to the dance. Deuce is not being prepared. Okay, quiet. I've made my decision. Eliza, step forward. Well, Alfie was slowing me and Allie down, so I think I should have stayed. I'm sorry, but you have been eliminated. I just, I just can't believe Eliza was eliminated. She worked with what she got, and it's not her fault the choreography was bad. Allie, step forward. Your trio was a hot mess, but you try to make it work. You're safe. I know. Thank you so much. This brings us to Sydney and Elfie. Sydney, explain why you deserve to stay. I deserve to stay because I bring great dedication to the dance. And I just made one small mistake while the other trios were a hot mess. So yes, I want to stay. Elfie, explain why you should stay. I deserve to stay as my chill actively without me tried to set me up to fail and it obviously worked as I'm in the bottom two but I can prove myself worthy of staying and I can feel as I was set up. Well, the judges votes are in. Alfie, step forward. Sydney, I'm sorry but you will be dancing next week. Alfie, you have been eliminated. We just got done our first elimination, and it was pretty tough. I know what my son is capable of. You know what? Mama, it's fine. I was set up, and it worked. Thank you for this opportunity. But don't trust Ali and Eliza if you want to be set up to fail. I've seen a lot of people blaming each other, but they have to learn how to work for themselves. They need to do whatever it takes to stay in the game. Next week, you'll be working in groups. Half of you will be split up and taught by two special guests. If one of you mess up, the entire group is up for elimination. So you better prepare. If they thought this week was hard, they're not ready for next week. Next week will require a lot of teamwork and effort. And they could barely work in groups of three. So I want to see how this plays out and who's going home.